guys, it's Spaces Sims, and we are back with more I, the Somnium Files, and the sound sounds fine for the first one. The transition music and shit is a little loud, so I tried to time the sound effect volume down a little bit. The voices are definitely loud, but I feel like it's good. I want—I don't want it to be like, I'm really loud, and like, I know when I watch certain things that like, you're like, oh, I can't really hear the game voice, and you turn it up, and then all of a sudden when the people talk, it's like, son of a bitch. I feel like they're a little bit louder than me but there are times like like kagami his voice was quieter than say the boss so i don't know i'd rather it be it's a little like we're close to even you know i might be a little bit quieter than them but i get loud sometimes so you know whatever and i don't want to deafen you guys by like freaking out and say it like being too loud so the voices seem okay um because by the time you see it if you're like this is bad it's gonna be, we're gonna be done with the game by the time this goes off i mean like i i gotta be ahead like so um, you know, but I did try to turn the sound effects sound down because I can't turn like the background music down any lower than it already is without it being off. And it seems not cumbersome. Like when I was listening, I was like, no, it's not like I'm drowned out by the sound. I want it to be, you know what I mean? So everything seems okay and everything seemed to have recorded. So we're going to go over this way. The thing is, is like you can't scroll over here any further. Um, and we're going to start clicking on everything in our boss's office. So, a cabinet. So, this is Saturday at, like, 9.22? Is that what it was? Um, something like that. And this is a, a police poster. Oh, that's the same. Oh, that's, those are both the same. Okay, can we click on the books? I can't remember. There's so much shit in here. But you have to, like, coat hanger. There's a lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. A Christmas that's tree. That's been here a while. I mean... Christmas comes every year, right? If you've noticed, her office has sun so much fucking shit in it. It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. We also have a birthday banner, which you can kind of see, and we saw pumpkins, so, like, she's ready for every Halloween. Um, a plaster figure. Oh, a decorated Christmas tree. That's been here since the first time I was in this room. It's a lifesaver. That is a fucking inner tube. <sighs> a stationary bike for indoor training. A symbol. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. A symbol. A triangular ruler. A snowboard. Skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Skis. Huh. A police poster. Oh, that's it. This is my favorite thing because when I first came in the office, the first time I ever played this, so like clicking on everything in her office, I've already done. I didn't talk to her. I just clicked on everything in her office the first time I played, which we didn't do in the last part. Um, But I, when we first walked in the office, I was like, does she have a fucking boy band poster in the background? She does. And for those of you who watch all the Atome games that we play, this is all of us right now. Just wait. A boy band poster? <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Yeah. That's literally me every time I play an Atomi game. <laughs> oh, boss lady. Uh-huh. Boss is single, by the way. A boy band poster. It's just fucking hilarious. Uh, a pennant? A souvenir from this from some rural town? I haven't seen one of these in a while. There's a pennant adorning the wall. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. <laughs> it's boss's grandfather's death mask. A mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. We have a map. A map on the wall. Oh, I already clicked that, sorry. Public bath door curtain. Like, where the fuck? A public bath door curtain. Where the fuck does she get this shit? Like, and I weird that we could, I wish we could do these fucking things, but we can't. Oh, here's a soba door curtain over here. It's not clicking. A soba restaurant door curtain. It's so funny because you can't, like, get over there any further. And yet, you can click on that. Like. And I don't think you can get anything else on the ceiling. No. Like, everything else you can get from down here. So, birthday. Oops. I keep not clicking on it. A happy birthday banner decoration. That birthday party was a while ago, though. An electronic darts game. Why do you have this? So if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. I mean, 
Okay. My theory about her office, I'll get to in a minute, okay? An electronic darts game. A chair. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. You can't click on the paper's desk. Boss's desk. There's stickers all over the front. There really are, and thank God we can't click on all the stickers, because you know I'd fucking do it, but... Oh, wait. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. A day clock. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? Ten billion yen. What are you, in elementary school? <laughs> <laughs> the Persian rug is laid out. I mean... Oh, we did cl click on the triangle ruler. Okay. A uh, bookshelf? A bookshelf. It's full of files and binders, but I don't know of what. It's got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. Again, manga, movies, games, like, this is her fucking pet. What does she do in here? Everything but work, apparently. A bookshelf. Has a ton of things stuffed in. A pumpkin carved like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> <laughs> His face is like, uh, what? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. A pumpkin. Um, we clicked on everything over here, right? Yeah. I'm just making sure we get everything. Coffee maker. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. Everything everyone says in this game is so fucking, like... There's so much innuendo in it. I'm always amused by Boss's ability to make anything sound dirty. I wonder if she does it on purpose. Really? Says the guy who was like, I can make my eyeball do anything. <laughs> Fucking pervert. The coffee maker sitting on the shelf. A flag with big catch on it. Uh -uh. Oh, we already did the soba door curtain because it's the same as the one on the other side. You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? That's trivia we didn't need to know. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. I... <laughs> I love the way he says it. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't know. I wonder if in the log you can repeat the lines. You can. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't know. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I just like the way he says it. Oh my god, it's so funny. Um, and pardon me when it takes a while to scroll, because sometimes I will use the mouse, but it gets like this where you have to keep like pulling it. Because it gets over too fast, like it's too far, and then you have to keep doing this. So I'm trying to, like, hold my mouse and also use the arrow keys. So, like, my left hand's just sitting here being fucking useless. It's better at doing certain things than my freaking right hand, but it's a Tanuki statue. But, like, my right hand's doing double duty by trying to use my mouse, clicking on things, and using my things to scroll. A volleyball. It's a volleyball. A soccer ball. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. So Boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. A soccer ball. A broom. A broom's leaning against the wall. Wait, we can't. Okay. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? Because it's hers and she measures it when she's bored, God. <laughs> I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Like, that's a thing. This is, wait. Okay, we could do that. An RC car, okay. A police officer mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about Boss's mental health. Me, Mario. Nice to meet you. See, like Mario's voice is really quiet, but he talks. Boss's friend Mario, and he actually like, but he he's got a nice necklace on him. We can't like click on it. Shelves, shelves. Okay. Well, first of all, okay, wine. There are wine bottles lined up. <coughs> a tombstone. Rip. This bags. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. These are fucking... Do you see them there? Do you see them all over here? I just want to point out 
we are living in the goddamn basement of a fucking party store. And this is not that. No. Do we share space? Like, well, we don't have for abyss. We don't have room for you. So we're going to have to put you in the basement of the party store next door. And like, just don't mind that shit. Because like, there is no other fucking explanation for this shit. She's literally living in a storage unit. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> like, it, I was like, when he first got into her office and I was looking around the first time, I was like, okay. And then I was like, what the fuck is all this shit? And then we have masks in like fucking plastic bat. What? Cold air is blowing from the AC. Stop ogling me. I am not ogling you. She's ogling me. Cold air is blowing from the AC. The entire the entrance. And we already saw shelves. Yeah, there was nothing else over here in the cabinets, I don't think. The floor doesn't have anything. Nothing on the floor, nothing on the floor. And then you come over here and it's like there's a large like key. It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Kaname. The kanji for key can be read as Kaname. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. Okay. So. It didn't occur to me the first time I played this and we clicked that. I was like, oh, okay. So we're like, we've got amnesia. We're so used to that playing a Tome game. Somebody has to have fucking amnesia. Okay. But then playing it the second time and we see that guy and he's like, I don't know who he is, blah, blah, blah. It makes more sense now when you get this point. So this is like in the last part, I was like, so this guy, I got a thing, but we got to wait. This is that thing. So maybe these dreams are like memories because you don't know anything about yourself past six years ago. So like, I'm guessing nobody, it's not like the boss knows you. He's like, no, this is you. And we're helping you get your memories back. She obviously doesn't know who you are. So it, I feel like the shit you saw in that dream of that dude and the dead lady in the ground, it's shit that you, that happened to you that you saw prior to six years ago at some point. Maybe it's a traumatic event or something. But you know that guy. You just don't remember knowing him because you don't remember shit past six years ago. So I don't know what it is. I'm just saying. Um. Oh, we can click large key again. It's a large key. A Reminds me of you, boss. Matryoshka? Mat you Matryoshka? have many faces. Matryoshka? One inside the other. Anyway. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshka's eventually Matryoshka. end, though. It's like, I feel like he's sort of like, oh, I'll never get to... Uh, uh, uh. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Like, she really does have a habit of making, like, that's the real me. Are you trying to sound sentimental or arousing? Because it's a little weird. It's concerning. All right. Um, And I think that is basically everything that we've looked at. I don't remember anything else being here. But, uh... Okay. So, um, what's the status of the investigation? Oh, we can just look at her, because I didn't do that. She's sitting on the desk, casually. She is sitting on the desk, casually. <laughs> Who do right. you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Boss. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... He doesn't know her name. Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. Okay, so... She's saying it's been more than six years. Okay, so... We don't remember anything past six years ago. The shit in our dreams probably has something to do with our memory loss. But it sounds like she does know us. Okay. I've been having flashbacks recently. Fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. Okay, so she said it's been more than six years. Okay, because like, well, when he said the thing about the key, right? Like, hold on. Um... That's not my real name. I don't know my real name. But if she knew him, wouldn't she tell him his real name? Because she's like, it's been more than six years. But like, Kaname's not my real name. Then, 
Why wouldn't tell? Why wouldn't she tell you your real name? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. But it's interesting. Any leads? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. I feel like yeah, there's probably like ice picks are like a common thing. Like everybody fucking has one, right? I don't know why I want to put this red dot on the eye. There you go. I just feel better. I don't know why. I was just like, I need to do... Okay. Um, I'm joking, obviously. Like, who the fuck has an ice pick? Damn. Unless you're an ice sculptor. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. I mean, there's blood all over it, so that was a safe assumption. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Again, safe assumption. Meaning but... that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Hmm. Almost definitely. About Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. It's like, she can't speak. Slightly overdramatic. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? AI sight. Interesting. You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me. Uh huh. Mizuki Okira. Okura? Okiura. 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 Because it's Kiura. Kiura. Okiura. That's really fucking hard. Look. The girl we found at the merry go round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. It's gonna be really hard when you're bringing those hoes home, huh? In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. It's kind of weird that your stray cat that you brought home, your stray child, Renju Okiura. Okiura. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. I'm assuming that maybe her dad? He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Like, because Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Oh. So Mizuki... But that wasn't her last... Okay, so... Okay, that makes sense. Ex-husband. Okay, so now we're getting this. Mizuki is the dead woman's daughter. But the dead woman's daughter lives with me. Why? This is really odd. Okay. Not to mention an old friend of mine. Okay, this is getting weirder. Are you sure you're not her dad? I daddy? wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. Were you boning his wife? He didn't? No. Huh. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. And why does his kid, your friend's kid, live with you and not either one of her parents? No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. I mean, I'm sure that's gonna come out later, but... We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Huh. About the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence huh. is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. It's impossible. Yeah, I mean... Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Interesting. Uh, any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. I mean... Nadami Shoko. 36 years old. Female. Residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Okira. Okira. That's so. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Yeah, we had a fling with him too. Okay, we're just a whore. I'm Renju sorry. Renju and Shoko had one child together. A daughter named Mizuki. The prime suspect of this case. 
Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. Mm -hmm. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll Thanks. need this when you're trying to get information, right? <sighs> Since you don't have a cell phone. I don't have a cell phone? I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Okay, about the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? <sighs> Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... You don't want to tell me because it's something to do with me. <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. Maybe they don't want me to remember because it would be traumatizing to remember, and then, like... They're afraid it would break my brain and, like, maybe, like, doctors were like, Look, just let him figure it out naturally. Don't tell him. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. Yeah, but it might have anything to do with my, my fucking... It might have to do with me! But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. Oh my god, we did it. <sighs> it might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. It's not the same killer because it was you and we wiped your brain and we made you a cop and put an AI in your brain and it's like some kind of weird government conspiracy. <gasps> that would be fucking amazing. You know what I mean? Like it was like, okay, we were a killer and then they took us and they did some kind of weird shit and fried my brain and then we're like, now we put the AI in your brain and the AI is there. You think it's like a magic eye to like help you do stuff, but it's really to keep your fucking brain in check so that you don't do crazy fucking serial killer shit anymore. And like, that's how they reform criminals is they just like fucking memory wipe you and make you someone else. You can't be the same killer because it was me. <laughs> oh my God. If that's not the fucking answer, I'm going to be pissed, okay? That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. Why is it impossible? I don't accept that. Notice she doesn't say why. Just give it up, Date. No, like she's, it's impossible because that guy's dead. You notice she's not saying why? I'm just saying. <sighs> Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki. Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Kasumi Gaseki. Underground. Park. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. Yeah, we're in the fucking basement of a party store. So, okay. I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. There's just shit everywhere. It's a storage unit. You could at least put some organization into it. It's like a party, right? <laughs> I want it to feel fun in here. No, it's depressing. It's literally like the dregs of a party store girl. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. I will get an ice pick and I will make your life depend on even it, Even if bitch. you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. I'm not even going to say but anything. why, boss? It's top secret. Classified. Oh, it's totally us. We totally did it and they don't want us to know. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, I mean, it has something to do with it. I swear to God. Oh, my God. That's how you want to interpret it. I just want it to be us so bad. Come on. Give it a rest, Date. No. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. This isn't harassment or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. I bet. The look at his face! <laughs> it appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. I can detect your thoughts, remember. <laughs> He's a fucking pervert. Thank you for your input, Iva. <laughs> Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? I'm trying to get you to bring me up on sexual it's harassment. It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patients. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? What happens if we ask her again? I'm going to go over here and do this before we go back. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Mm, unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. Nope. All we know is that it was a payphone. Hmm. A payphone? That's odd. Who the fuck has payphones anymore? It is unusual. It's the future. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. They may have even been the killer. Like, we have, like, hologram fucking crime scene tape. I have a magic eye, and there's still fucking payphones? I'm not even sure in 2021 there's a lot of payphones around. And then this is sometime in the future and there's like, payphones? 
Oh, I didn't get to ask her about the case anymore. Ah! What the fuck? Ah, Iba! That is gross! Now my eye's dirty! I'm sorry, I don't like that my eye just pops out of my face like this. This is creepy. He's like, I need an eye patch. What the fuck? Are we gonna sneak into her files? Hello! No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. Literally. I do not understand your concern. <sighs> Boss knows me by now. Well, still. It's kind of gross. <laughs> about my eye. Hey, so... About my left eye. I guess I should have kept asking her. I was like, let me go back before she, like, gets mad at me and doesn't answer the other question. Now's not the time to talk about that. I've been thinking a lot lately about myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? No, because you are a serial killer and they just want to tell you. Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Hey, boss. Is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me. I didn't create her. Who did? Get Pewter to tinker with her. Who's Pewter? Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Boss is looking at Iba. Hey, what does love mean to you? And he's getting a flirty face. Well, he's got his eye closed because it's just an empty socket. Gross. Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. Who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Aren't I? I received that <laughs> You know you're kind of cute quickly. like that. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? Slightly creepy. I was Actually. joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? <laughs> nope, not cute at all. Look. My left eyeball is Iba. She sees things differently than I do. Yeah, because she's looking at us. Okay, back inside. Why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? You're an eyeball. It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. Flashback? The official title is AI Ball. I'm sorry, if he's not a fucking supervillain, what the fuck? He is a supervillain. This is not normal. People don't dress like that. Look at the collar on that fucking thing. His coat is going to take off. You may call her Iba. Yeah, I'm sorry. You AI Ball. I'm sorry, he's a fucking supervillain. Oh my god. We're this is, we're like the Anti-Justice League. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. And the way he talks? No, okay, sorry. This An guy. autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. But I have a left eye. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking, which we figured. But then she pops fucking out and that's gross. Nothing new is out except for me. Hello, me. Did you know 
that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. <laughs> you are a handsome looking man. <laughs> oh, no, stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. Look, I didn't do that. It's me. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing myself with my own eye. It's creepy. Yeah, when you're not looking in a mirror. Well, I suppose it really... It, I suppose it really... Oh God. Well, I suppose it isn't really my eye. Okay, I can read. I buzz my left eye. She's outside my eye socket right now. But I see what she sees as if it were my own eye. Her body and the terminal in the back of my eye socket are connected wirelessly. Oh my God, that's so creepy. It hurts me. Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad Abyss at MPD. <laughs> it's doing different voices. I see myself as she sees me. Okay, one more time. Why did you come out? Okay, yes, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date. But that would have been less efficient. Hmm. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. It would have been less efficient, true, probably. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? He's like, aren't you connected to my brain? You know everything that I think, but I don't know the shit that you think. That's creepy. I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. Mm hmm, smart. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. Huh. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Mizuki's dad. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. You expect me to believe he's 24? He looks 12. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. When you're able to visit a new destination, map will appear at the bottom right of the screen. Open up the map and pick a destination. Cool. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu File Appendix. Okay. Back inside. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> my left eyeball's eyeball. She sees things differently than I do. But I want her to go back in my eye. I guess I can't. So we're gonna like walk, it's my eyeball. And like, you should have an eye patch for times like this. You gotta like walk with your eye closed. Like just close one eye. It's like, God, this is like hard. Matsushita Diner. Oh, okay. Cause that's like our new place on the map. I guess we have to click this and that's how we go there. Go. All right. If there's multiple places, you could click on different ones, I guess. But we only have one. Zoom. Got our sassy fucking car. Saturday, 10.18 a.m. Matsushita Diner. Right, I gotta click to keep... Sometimes the transitions happen and these times they don't. I'm like, duh. Oh my god, am I gonna click on like the 7,000 oh, things around here? <gasps> Look at the little old lady with her cute glasses! I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy. I is Ota in trouble? Does her fucking shirt say hipster? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. Aww. She's got the same eyes he does. She's like four feet tall. It's so cute. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. 
Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry. Sorry. It's, like, it's got flowers on it. It's cute. Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. Oh my god, we literally can stare at everything in here. Holy fucking shit. You know we've got to. Cushions. A small this stuffed cushion. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference. Cushion. A small sitting cushion. Low table. Condiments. Salt, pepper. A blend of red cayenne and spices and an unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Mayumi's black sauce. Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. Calendar. That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Are you? I go they're both just like, yeah. It's November, but the calendar says January. Looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. Oh, another? An old calendar on the wall. Okay. Clock. It's a clock. Hands off those hands. <laughs> just kidding. Is this woman okay? Uncertain. But she reminds me of you. <laughs> the gears have stopped turning. Not unlike Mayumi. I like that, though. It, was, she, it reminds me of you. The gears have stopped turning. Yeah. Okay, so nothing there. We've already seen cushions and tables. Lucky cat. A lucky cat statue. What the hell? Seriously? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Meow! Meow with the lucky cat statue, everyone. Is that right? Ready? One, two, three. Meow! Here we go. A lucky cat statue. Fortune. It says good luck. It says good luck. Oh, okay. We only have to click on one's poster. A beer ad on the wall. She's cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. Mm-hmm. As long as it's breathing. A beer ad on the wall. Okay. And everything. Ooh. Disposable chopsticks. Oh, I missed those on the other table. Disposable chopsticks. A Do package. you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? She looks mad. It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. What now? Look. Date, there's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Ooh. Why not try enlarging the image? The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description it's, reads, it's, Solid it's, Model. Asamon. <laughs> I was like, you cannot possibly have put Amazon, but no, I realize it's Asamon.jp. Solid model. We should look inside. <gasps> Use the x-ray mode. Hell yeah. I like this. Oh, wait. Isn't it an anime girl? Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person. Known as a figure. It's a cat girl. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Oh, what's happening? Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Nothing but a window. Nothing else over here, right? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Menus. Menus written on the wall on Tanzaku paper? We already did that. Can we click back on the package? Look. Zoom. Package. It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it, which we already saw. Oh, we can do it again. The item description says something about a solid model. Okay. We've already done everything we can with that, so... I don't know if we can do the x-ray again. Oh, we can. A set. Can we do... You can still click at the... But there's nothing else that we can do with this. And yet, you can still click on the package. It's package for Ota. Okay. Zoom is green, but we just did that already. And what's the difference? There's nothing else here, though. 
I don't understand why it keeps showing green. You know what I mean? That's weird. Because green should be like, I have stuff I can do with it. But like... There's nothing you can do. Anyway. Uh, oopsie, I click the wrong button all the time. Alright, so... Swinging door. A swinging, a door. swinging door. A swinging door. A swimming door. A swinging door. The kitchen. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. Counter. The counter. More menus. The kitchen knife. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. It's cute. There's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Aww. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. So cute. He knows how much I love flowery designs. Aww. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Aww. A kid's chair. Stools. A stool. A table. A chair. A large jellyfish. Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. I mean, we can still click on the kitchen knife. There's a floral pattern kitchen knife on the table. It looks like Oda gave it to Mayumi for Mother's Day. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. The words, Mom, I love you always, are carved into the handle. But see what I mean? Like, but then why is that still... Okay, see, that's not green anymore. Why is the package still green? Okay, so... We saw the chairs and the table and the counter and the menus, and there's nothing back there, right? There's a bucket. A bucket. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Hey, now, don't judge a book by its cover. I also don't remember shit from six years Besides, ago. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. That. I wouldn't know. A bucket. Nope, not the table. I was trying to get the, the mop, but it's really hard to click on. It's a mop. Table, disposable condiments. Oh, wait. Chair. It's a round chair. Oh, because we didn't click on it again. We should have all the chairs. We got all the windows. We got... Oh, autographs. That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Some celebrity's autograph. More menus. Another poster. Another lucky cat. A bookshelf. A bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. Stools. Beer cases. Beer cases. There's nothing else we can click on. I think we got everything. Oh, the TV. An old CRT you television. think that thing gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. Nothing's playing on it. Okay. I think we got everything. I just like to click everything because you never know. Oh, God, I always click the wrong button. I'm sorry because I'm just like, for some reason... Nope, those are menus. Nothing over there. Except for Mayumi. But also, I'm kind of curious. Okay, I have to like do this. We cooked everything over here. We got the clock. Um, I don't know why I can still pick on the package. Yeah, but like, I don't understand what the deal is with the package unless we got... I mean, I don't know. Uh, about the weather. The rain last night was pretty bad. Wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. She's like, huh? I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. Really, no. This is nothing new. Huh. Oh, it's just a little diner. Cute. But not to toot my own horn or anything. Toot toot. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. That knife is flashing. Like, why? Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kabasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean... Never mind. Huh? What? Oh, that oh, makes... Oh, about... Hmm. 30 years now. Huh. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but... 
She's like, it's near this district. That's off limits. What now? Nothing. Back then, mm. everyone was willing to lend you money. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. How dare he have an office job? What kind of office? He looks like a Pokemon trainer. Oh, what was it? It's kind of funny that his mom is a hipster and he's a geek. <laughs> I wonder what, what his dad's shirt says. It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. They do businessy things. He's also got, like, Captain America fucking badges on his fucking what, arms. Like gangsters? Oh, heavens no. Nothing like that. Nothing as upstanding as Yakuza. Oto wouldn't go to a place <laughs> like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office. An entertainment company. Uh, he works in porn. Got it. What's the name of this company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry. My memory's been so spotty lately. Yeah, she's missing some gears in the clock. <sighs> because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. <laughs> this is a witch, weird. huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my, oh my God. poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. Oh, no. She... Never mind. You see that box Mommy. over there? The one on the table? Okay. Yes. Maybe Just we have to talk to look. her first about it. You'll see what I mean. Okay. We'll check yes. the box out after. That Good for nothing. Temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Oh, so he's in love with like. Do you know her an name? Idol. Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Um, can we click on the package now? She said, look, it's a package for Oda. We already did all this, but, like, it keeps, like, like, nothing is different, but why is it still green? You know what I mean? Like, what am I missing? What am I missing on this? What am I missing? <laughs> like, even the night, like, is, like, anyway, uh... Call him. Oh, I haven't done look at her yet. Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Because this isn't the 1980s anymore, lady! He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. What decade are you? Okay. Okay. I have a robot. Fu I have a fucking magic eyeball. We have hologram banners. We don't have a cell phone. That seems weird. And we're like, he doesn't have a cell phone. What? Well, that's silly. I have one at the house. What is this, 1993? The fuck is happening? You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Track it. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. If it's on, we can track it. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation <laughs> of waste disposal codes. Oh, Iba. He's like, the fuck? Date, I've found some information about the figure. Ah, oh, okay. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That must be the witch. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? See, when she said, I don't remember her name, I'm like, I wonder if it's the figure, no, but... No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat... Lemnisgate. Why does that sound familiar? Renju owns that company. No. But that's not why. I mean, he... But I was like... I feel like it was in... Maybe it was in something Correct. else. Like another name. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. All the connections! Iba, bring the car around. At once. Look. I'm not done, Menu. Ota's mother. Okay. I decided to ask her about Shoko, just in case. I brought up the picture of Shoko and showed it to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? 
No one. Don't worry about it. How about this idol? She mentioned a box. Is this like now we're going to get this? It's a package for Ota. But we've already done this! What is wrong with you, game? Oh, well, now there's a, now there's a slip. The item description is something about a solid model. We already did that, though. Is that really what we were missing? The fact that we had already... Oh my god, that's what we were missing. Even though we had clicked it and it said the solid model, like, we saw that. I don't know. Oh, okay, so we're done with... We can't really talk to her about anything else, huh? Okay, so I guess we're done. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button. So I guess we're done because we don't have any... God, I keep hitting the wrong button! Alright, well... I guess it was because, like, we were supposed to... We were missing that thing on the package. Alright, let's go to Lemniscate. Bye, Mayumi! Oh, if that was your name, I forget. <laughs> Look at our flashy car. <laughs> Lemniscate. Saturday, 11.45 a.m. That's him? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Those giant eyes. So you know why the fuck we're here. Alright, so. Let's do this. Let's browse around this building. Window. A large window. Can we click on anything else outside the window? No. A plant! Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. A plant. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Abstract painting. There's an abstract painting hung what up. What is that supposed to be? It's abstract, nothing. I do not know. Abstract painting. Incomprehensible painting. There's an abstract, incomprehensible painting hung up. Uh, so far, so far, a sofa. It's a sofa. It's a sofa. Can't do anything else out there. Okay. Do, 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 do. We can go back over here. The receptionist. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Wow. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. <laughs> like how we can just keep clicking her. Huge breasts. And that's all we think about. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. <laughs> this fucking pervert. Oh, I meant to click. I thought I clicked on her computer, but no. Okay, reception desk. That's the reception desk. We already saw plants. Uh, the company logo. Lemniscate. We can't click on the thing. Oh. Oh, we can click on Ota, but I don't want to do that yet. Laptop. Ota's laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. Ota's laptop. A low table in front of hey, the sofa. Iba, what do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. A low table in front of the sofa. Uh, so, oh wait, hold, high stool. That is a high stool. A high school? No, Date. There are high stools around the table. High table. It's a high table. Door. There's probably an office back there. A monitor. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. It's playing Danganronpa. Nothing dirty, though. This isn't that kind of company. He sounds disappointed. Another door. Vending machines. A vending machine full of drinks. Magazine rack. Lots of magazines in that rack. Let's see. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. <laughs> Lots of magazines in that rack. Oh, God. Okay, there's nothing really... Okay. Oh, a cyber monitor. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Okay, we already clicked that. It's nothing different. I guess all we have left is Ota. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. I have a magic eye, and I saw through your box. <laughs> Excuse me? 
Oh, that didn't work. What are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? <laughs> Dante's like not having it. Oto won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away at his laptop. I love that. The police! Types away. God, stop talking to me. No. I'm kind of busy right now. I think it's funny that we show up and we're like, we're the police. And he's ah! and now he's like, fuck off, buddy. God. Last night. Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. And I steal your laptop. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process... What a douche! No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Um, this is the type of kid I hate the most. Punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. So? Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick him. <laughs> I told you to wait. <laughs> Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Your dosage? What dosage? He doesn't know what drugs he's on. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. I, I wanted to kick him, though. <laughs> oh. Riding that high, probably Does just some Tessa fugly girl. refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. <laughs> Optical Protein Fiber. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. He's insulting her so that when he, when he stands up and white knights her. As Mato, she'll be like, oh my god, you're so nice to all these people insulting me. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet, or false flagging. What a douche. This kid is pathetic. <laughs> hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. To Witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? Not Twitter. To Witter. You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? It's not defamation if it's true! Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. <laughs> I what? mean, how do you know that? I told you I'm fucking psychic! I told you, kid. I'm psychic. <laughs> Owned, now, bitch. I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. All right. Oh, I guess we have time to ask him some questions. I'm going to ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around nine? Y yes. Why were you in the area? I, um, I like to skewer the horses. You better tell me. Or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy. Okay, okay. I'll talk. Just shh. Everyone. There's literally the big-breasted receptionist. Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. <laughs> Against yourself! Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend Fugly her? Fugly and unwanted Aset's heavenly. But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? He's gonna keep doing it. Oh, something. She's having sex with her or something. Jesus. 
I want to be able to read the shit that they're posted up there. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Okiyura. Like, everyone's like, Okiyura. And he's like, Okiyura. I'm like, but why? Okay, when he said I was meeting someone, I'm like, it better not have been fucking Mizuki. She's half your age! What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? She fucking lives with me. She's like my fucking daughter, bitch. Yeah, I know her. Matsushita Oda. 24 years old. Kind of a loser. She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. <laughs> like, I'm with him. She's half your age. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Because she's basically my daughter. Um, here. The Lemniscate Lobby. But she's... Yeah, I know. And he's my friend. And she's living with me, goddammit. I know it sounds pervy. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. I mean, her. this is her dad's company and, like, Tessa is, like... It's so weird saying that because that's, like, one of my nicknames. Like, with two S's, but... Um, like my nephew couldn't say my name when he's little and it came out Tessie. So I've just been Tessie to my family for like 20 fucking years. And so I've used Tessa before for things as opposed to, that's the more adult version of Tessie. So it's really weird to see it in a game. But anyway, um, like, it, so it makes sense that she would know some of the talent that works for her father's agency because she's probably spent a lot of time here, you know, so. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Eman a professional, sweetie. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. It's so, so funny, we look anyway, like real people, and he's such a cartoon. Reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Are you hitting on a 12-year-old, you pervert? Okay, no, it's still the same. Can you provide details of last night? Is that what it is? Yeah. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. Huh. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? And why you? <laughs> Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. We're gonna have to find her smartphone. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. <gasps> Maybe it's Tessa because she's seen you talking to Ota and she's jealous so she killed your mom! I don't know. That makes no sense. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? So keep going with this. What basically. happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. We should have stopped. I mean, we're a little over time, but we were under last time, so it's okay. I just want to finish the questioning with him, so... Oh, 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 now we get a little cutscene. Did she find her mom? I heard screaming. It was you. She found her mother's body. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight-or-flight mode. You left a 12-year-old girl staring at the dead body of her mother. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? I heard screaming! It was you. It was literally me. You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. 
Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Why'd you use the payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oath's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. Because he dropped it and lost it. I guess he's telling the truth. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! She's gonna see us and be like, oh my god, you're like super cute. Oh my god, are we gonna fall in love with this girl? Seriously, Dante, stop. She's probably like 15. And you are? Don't. Mr. Dante from the MPD. Don't hit on her. Please don't hit on her. She's she's too she young for you. came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Oh god. Wow! I've never met a real detective before. We are hot, but like, dude. Stop staring at her. You're creeping me out. That's a pervy look. Oh, do we Dante, know her? Your adrenaline level is rising. I hope it's not because you want a boner. Is something the matter? Do you recognize her? No, nothing. I feel like he recognizes her. Anyway, I'm going to stop here because, like, I didn't realize she was going to come out. I figured we'd talk to Ota and then we'd be done um, and, like, move on. But we've got to talk to her. So we're going to find out in the next part what the deal is with her and, like, why we're like, I know this chick. So, or why he was staring at her. Don't stare at her like you want a boner, okay? Like, she's, like, too young for you. <laughs> You'd be lucky if she's, like, 20, dude. Stop. Anyway, um, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.